Good morning. Uh, I couldn't do a review on the trail, but uh, this is a review of the One Win Pillow. It only takes a couple breaths. To make it as hard as soft as you want. I really like it. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I went, yes. And uh, I actually got this for uh, a trip up in Graceland Highlands. The nice thing about this is you can take and use it for hammock camping or uh, in your sleeping bag. You can put it around your mat, adjust it up, and that way it doesn't skid off of your mat or in your hammock. Okay, and like I said, you can blow it up as hard as you want or soft as you want. My wife likes it, uh, but she doesn't like the, the camera. And uh, I just fold these underneath so you're not hanging up on it. I got the wooby and I got to dry it out. There was a lot of rain on the AT. But, you know, you can make it so that it doesn't... If you roll around, it'll 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 move, but it won't kick off unless you flip it off. But I had a a cheap one back in the 80s. I loved it, and it wasn't slippy. I have another one that's self-inflating. It inflates in your pack. It's it's a bugger to pack. This is really good. This is all the bigger. Your stuff sack is and you can take and put it inside here all balled up in the bottom of your uh, compression bag with your wobby or your uh, light sleeping bag and you got a pillow and if you're using a hammock in the wobby you know you can hang it in your inside of your and around your uh, webbing so that your pillow stays at the top. It doesn't keep sliding down. I really, really like it. And if you're ground ground sleeper, it'll fit in your haversack. You can even put it on your belt because there's a, a loop here. You can actually put it on your belt. And it's not very big. It's not very heavy. It's not bulky. When you want to deflate it, you stick your finger in there. Get all the air out. Push your plug down. It stays up all night. Like I said, it goes into this little stuff sack. It's a great comfort item. If you're like me, you got to have a pillow, you know, that way you can hang your haversack up. You're not sleeping on a, a brick. So, there it is. This even got damp. I had to hang it up, dry it out some. And if you don't want to use the, the little stuff sack, there's no file on that. Whatever, whatever works for you. Like I said, it and it compresses a little bit.
I wish they still made those backpacking string hammocks. Uh, I really like that for the summertime because it only, when it packed up, it was only the size of a mush ball and with a wooby and a pillow and a little tarp, you were ready to go. And all you had was your cook kit. So now I know where the pillow is. I'm going to order another one off of one wind for my wife. And uh, I didn't get to sleep on I used the old self-inflating one, which the grandkids will use. So if you're using a browse bed and a piece, of, you know, a uh, trash bag, you don't want to go ultra light or primitive, but you still want a a pillow. No, I pulled that out, but that's all right. My wooby, my pillow, and I'm ready to go. I learned I need a haversack with a little bit of food and my little cook kit, and I'm ready to go to the woods. So there you go. I really like that one wind pillow. It's multi use. And for a comfort item, it's not very big. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe.